With a watch worth 53,000 Kenya shillings. Ah, I, I, I want to let you know. It is not yet over. I said it is not yet over. And we serve a God of all suddenly. I said we serve a God of suddenly. Many people think offering is only money. Whatever you hold is holding you. And anything that cannot solve your problem is a seed. Why should you have a smartphone, a big one, without airtime? Your neighbor, why? You have a big smartphone which is big like this handkerchief. You put it like this on your big. And it doesn't have airtime. Anything that does not solve your problem is a seed. Ah. Mm. Hey, hey. Are you hearing me? Some of the things you are holding are the keys to your breakthrough. Are your keys to your destiny. Are you hearing me? Somebody say amen. I told you one day here the day you stop giving you die. Are you hearing me? Because how many people know you don't breathe in fast, you breathe out? When you are breathing, you breathe out fast. Then you breathe in. The day you just breathe in, 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 without breathing out, you die. Giving is a nature. The day you receive you die. You have to receive and give. Ah. The measure you receive is the measure you give. And the measure you give is the measure you receive. If today you eat ugali in the morning, eat ugali lunchtime, you eat ugali in the evening, and you, didn't, you don't give, you die. Are you hearing me? Giving is the of life. The scientists say human beings give carbon dioxide to the plants and carbon dioxide gives what? Oxygen for you to live. So giving is nature. Tell your neighbor giving is nature. Yeah. Giving is nature. Somebody say amen. The Bible says the, the spirit of God shall come upon you and the power from high shall overshadow you and that which you carry shall be holy and called the son of God then it says now it says now indeed Elizabeth your relative has also conceived a son in her old age beloved listen to me when God visits you he visits you for the benefit of your relatives for the benefit of other people how I pray tonight may the Lord bless you until your enemies will benefit. May the Lord bless you until your brothers and sisters will be able to benefit in the name of Jesus. The angel said, now, now, after my visit, now, your relative Elizabeth has also conceived. Hallelujah. May your relatives Benefit from your blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
nilijiambia I told myself that I will not stay in the same measure na kwamba sitakaa kwa kile kiwango tu like my brothers and sisters kama ndugu zangu na dada zangu I told you yesterday niliwaambia jana I'm the first one in our family mimi ni wa kwanza kutoka kwa jamii yetu to fly kupaa I'm the first my father used to see an aeroplane up there not Baba even yangu alikuwa anaona ndege kule sio ndani kule juu God I'm not my father Nashukuru Mungu mimi si baba yangu I said thank God I'm not my father Nashukuru Mungu mimi si baba yangu I am an original If your father failed ni shauri yake you will not fail like your father you will not fail like your brothers you will not fail like the other uncles you are an original and God is able to elevate you I'm the first one to drive build a, build a permanent house jenga nyumba ya kudumu but it is I decided it will not be alone for me alone. Na nikaamua msiaita kuwa yangu peke yangu. Two years ago, miaka mbili iliyopita. I took my sister, my elder sister to South Africa. Stand up. Nilipeleka dada yangu kule Afrika Kusini. And last night they flew. They did not come by bus from Kakamega. Na usiku they flew. Kuja na ndege, hawakuja na na basi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She is our firstborn. I follow Yeye her. I follow her seven times. Mimi namfuata mara saba. We were born 11 siblings and she is here as you see. Moja na ako hapa mzaliwa wa kwanza. But in church. Lakini kanisa. She is my daughter period. Yeye ni binti yangu kwisha. And in fact she is in praise and worship. Hata yeye ni mwimbaji. And I ordained her as a lay leader. Me, I ordained her as a lay leader. And almost my brothers and sisters, all of them are in our church. They call me daddy. I'm number seven. Mimi ni wa saba. But God has made me number one. <laughs> hey! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has made me number one. That's why the Bible says the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first. Pastor Ken and this brother come here. Just come. Kujen, kuja hapa. Just come here. Kuja hapa tu. I want you to follow me. Nataka munifuate. Follow me. Just follow munifuate. me. And when I say we turn you turn. Nikisema ba utani. Let's turn. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now who is number one now? <laughs> who is number one? Let's turn. Let's turn. Let's turn. Who is number one now? Nani number wa kwanza? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first shall be the last. Wa kwanza atakuwa. The wind is changing. I said the wind is changing. The wind is changing. Ah the wind is changing. Those who went ahead of you. The wind is changing. I said the wind is changing. There are people who has who made CDs ahead of you. Kuna watu ambao walitengeneza CD mbele yangu. They call themselves wanajiita wenyewe stars. Nyota and celebos. Na wanaosherekewa. But listen to me. Lakini sikiza. The wind is changing. I, 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 I wish you understood what I said. The wind is changing. There are those who began ministry ahead of you. I let I come to let you know. The wind is changing. It is blowing on the other side. Tell your neighbor neighbor. As you see me like this. The wind is changing. Come on talk to your neighbor tell him. As you see me like this. The wind is changing. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. The wind is blowing to my favor. If you don't want to take it, I take it. The wind is blowing to my favor. I said the wind is blowing to my favor. Kenya, listen to me. Kenya, Kenya listen to me. The wind is blowing to my favor. In the name of Jesus, I will not only cancel members, I will also cancel kings and presidents. In the name of Jesus, the wind is changing. Listen. The wind changes. You will not eat what is available. 
You will not eat what is available. You will eat what you want. Ah, mm. ah, ah. You will not eat what is available. You will eat that which you need. If you need nyamachoma, even if kuku is there, you say I'm going for nyamach. Nyam chom nyam chom nyam chom chala la 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 nyam chom nyam chom nyam chom ah nyam chom nyam chom nyam chom nyam chom hey how to cool a kile kiko to cool a kile unataka to cool a kile macho kip kile unatak ah when the power of God comes upon you, the glory of God will overshadow you. In other words, you will be enveloped in the glory. And your relatives, age will not be a limit. Ah, I can see Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Her stomach was so folded like a paper bag. She had begun to bend low. Her breast had fallen. And she was bending low. But when the pregnancy got into her, <laughs> I said when the pregnancy got into her, she began to stand straight. She began to stand straight. And the breast began to stand again. And she began to walk straight again. She began to walk like a boss. Yeah. I don't know what trouble has been to you, law. I don't know which loan has been to you, law. I don't know which debt has been you, law. I don't know which challenge has been to you, law. I see God releasing pregnancy. I see the Lord releasing pregnancy that will make you stand straight. I said it will still stand straight. There are people inside here. If you walk on the street, you talk alone. Because you are not able to There are things that are making you do that. Counting the cost of problems. Counting the cost of life. Can I prophesy to somebody here? Your challenge will not be your challenge alone. Your challenge is to be a challenge of God. I said you don't need to care about tomorrow. For the Lord knows what you need. Even before you ask him, I came to let you know when the angel visits you suddenly, suddenly your life changes, suddenly your life changes, suddenly your story changes because of the visitation of the Almighty God. Whatever has bent you. God is changing it. Whoever has your tears. He will cry your tears. I said whoever has sponsored your tears will cry your tears in the mighty name of Jesus. Whoever has sponsored your downfall he will fall your fall. Whoever is digging a hole for you he will fall in it himself. Shout hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. Shetani ni muongo. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. David says. Daudi anasema. I have been young. Nimekua mchanga. And I'm old. Asasa mi ni mzee. I've never seen a righteous man for a second. Sijawai kuona mwenye haki ya kiachwa. Oh, I've never seen a righteous man for a second. Sijawai kuona mwenye haki ya kiachwa. Or his children begging bread. Wala watoto wake kuomba mwenye. From today. Wanzia leo. The begging syndrome. The begging syndrome. The begging syndrome. It is finished. 
I said it is finished. The begging syndrome tonight is broken. It is broken in the name of Jesus. The Bible says you shall not be a borrower. You shall be a lender. You will not borrow anymore. You are becoming a lender. Somebody say hallelujah. You are becoming a lender. See somebody here whom trouble had bent your life. The Lord is raising you up again. You will smile again. I said you will smile again. In the name of Jesus. The days of running away from the devil. They are over. The wind is changing. Instead of running away from the devil. It is running towards the devil. The devil has to look for his own way. Because you will not walk the same way. The devil has walked. Hallelujah. And tonight. There is somebody here. Your job opportunity. The door of your your job has closed. But I see in the spirit the Lord opening more doors. I see multiple doors being opened. I see multiple doors being opened until you will be confused. Which one do I take? Which one do I not take? I declare super burdens upon your life. I declare super burdens. There is a woman in this house. You have tears which nobody sees. From the outside people see you rejoicing. But you have tears in the inside which you tell anybody which you don't share with anybody. I see the Lord healing you from deep. I see the Lord healing you from the deep. From inside, the Lord is healing you. Somebody say amen. I told you in the morning or oh, the other day the ability of not seeing well can make you stagnate. When you fail to see well you don't walk well. Hello. Hello. This same apostle who is here people see me differently. Even in my church, there are those who call me pastor. There are those who call me dad. There are those who call me bishop. There are those who call me apostle. There are those who call me servant of God. Everybody sees me differently. But the ability of seeing me well gives you access to whatever I carry. There is a woman in South Africa. She had a tumor for 10 years. And this woman, Tidi Jacks, came to South Africa. And she went to, her, to his meetings. And Tidi Jacks himself laid hands on him, on her. But she, she never got healed. Joyce Meyer. Joyce Meyer went to South Africa to the meeting. She went to that meeting. She laid hands on her. She never got her healing. She took a flight to Nigeria to T.B. Joshua's church. And T.B. Joshua himself laid hands on her. She never got healed. She flew back to South Africa. So as I was preaching in one of the meetings which I don't remember she said 
she looked at me and felt I am a man who will give her her solution and she looked at me differently but she told herself I will not go the same way I always tell people if you are praying in one way or you are praying in one style and there is no answer change the way you pray so she said I will not go in front to be laid hands on but I will wait in the morning when he will be going to the church I will follow his shadow and step on it and exactly that is what she did she said in the morning as I was going to the stairs in the church she, my shadow was behind me she ran and stepped on my shadow and she had some grumbling in the stomach and that thing disappeared and she got her instant healing just on step, stepping on my shadow but I was in the same church everybody was looking at me differently she looked at my shadow and believed my shadow is able to change her and exactly that is what happened she got healed of her 10 years infirmity I have a daughter she was bleeding She's wedding in uh, she's wedding. I'm wedding them in April 20. 29th April. She began bleeding. She had just joined the church. And she went to Kakamega to all the hospitals. But the bleeding was not stopping. She came to Kenyatta. Hospital. Kenyatta. And they told her they are going to operate on her. She said, no, before you operate on me, let me talk to my spiritual father. The doctors asked her, who is your spiritual father? And then she said, then she called me, I did not answer. So she sent me a text. Say, daddy, I'm in the hospital. I want to go to the theater.